during warfare, soldiers go into battle to defeat the enemy, whoever they may be. But sadly, when soldiers go into battle, many are wounded and even killed. Now, I'm sure many of you know about combat medics that heal the wounded in the battlefield, but what happens when those wounded vets come home? What happens if they have a disability? Well, this is where the Wounded Warrior Project comes in. They help wounded warriors cope with their injury and then succeed later on in life. I feel very strongly about this organization because I will one day be a soldier, and I will hope and I would want that my fellow, fellow comrades to be uh, taken care of. And I'm sure that many of you have family members that were veterans, and you would want them to be taken care of too. I've gathered research over this speech from sites like the Wounded Warriors page. <coughs> and today we're going to look at the programs of the Wounded Warrior Project. But if you break up those programs, you can see that there are mind programs, body programs, economic empowerment programs, and even engagement programs. First, let's take a look at the mind programs. The Wounded Warrior Project is dedicated to helping uh, wounded soldiers deal with uh, mental issues. The uh, Combat Stress Re Recovery Program has two major sub-programs to help soldiers with mental issues. The Restore Warriors Program helps soldiers deal with post-traumatic stress disorder, and Project Odyssey helps soldiers deal with stress by having fun outdoor activities. In the uh, 2011 article, Using uh, Nature and Outdoor Recreation to Help Veterans, which was published by the Wounded Warrior Project, it states that while at Project Odyssey, soldiers get the chance to ski, fish, and even rock climb. And uh, the me mental uh, programs are also available to the uh, soldiers' uh, families because they now have to deal with uh, dealing with a wounded veteran. Now that we've talked about the mind programs, let's take a look at the body programs. The Wounded Warrior Project is dedicated to helping soldiers remain physically active while they are dealing with a bodily injury. They, they do this by using adaptive sports. One of these adaptive sports is called the Soldier Ride. The Soldier Ride is a, a, a four-day cycling event that uh, helps soldiers build a confidence in themselves and gives them camaraderie. The uh, GEICO, which is the lead sponsor of the Soldier Ride, Stated in their recent 2011 article, Geico Gets Involved, that soldiers are given specialized uh, custom bikes which help them with their, e with their individual needs. And soldiers are given a chance to test out these bikes before they ride 20, 25 to 50 miles in their four days. Now that we've looked at the body programs, let's take a look at the economic empowerment. The uh, economic empowerment programs mainly deal with soldiers' ability to go back to school and help them uh, later on in their life by giving them a job. The, uh, the, the uh, track program is a 12-month program that gives soldiers uh, special training and vocational jobs. And Matt Sorgio, which is a lead reporter for the Florida Times Union, stated in his recent article that the uh, Wounded Warrior Project has vocational and educational jobs that help them get back to work. And then the uh, Warriors to Work program actually helps them get that civilian job that they, that they need. And finally, the Transition Training Act help soldiers adjust from being a soldier and now being a civilian. Finally, let's take a look at the engagement programs. The engagement program's main job is to keep the wounded veterans connected to each other. And one of these main things is called the alumni program, which uh, helps soldiers connect to other wounded vets through events and an online community. <coughs> and the uh, Wounded Warrior Project also helps re retrieve soldiers' uh, belongings that were left overseas when they had to come back to the United States to receive treatment. And there is also a very strong peer mentoring group that helps soldiers just get someone to talk to. And uh, Bethany Young, which is a lead staff writer for the, for the Penfield Post, explains in her 2011 article, Veterans Benefit from Peer Mentoring, that by talking with someone who has known their struggle, the vet to vet mo model is best for helping veterans. In conclusion, we have looked at the MIND programs, the body programs, the economic empowerment programs, and the engagement programs of the Wounded Warrior Project. Webster Dictionary states in their 20, 2012 posting that to be wounded is to suffer from a body or a mental injury. The Wounded Warrior Project not only helps the, these veterans uh, recover from their uh, suffering, but help, also helps them uh, later on in life to be successful. Thank you.